Hey guys, it's Simply Imaginary People, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to edge split for lazy people. So, first a little teaching that I've decided. So, pretend that I've made an object or a mesh in Marvelous Designer, and I'm just going to draw it as one plane. So I've got this one plane. Now, what I often do in my tutorials is I solidify it. This means that I give it a back face as well. Like this. Now, because two planes behind each other faces look stupid, I usually fill my rim, which means I'm literally filling in this area. Now, the problem is, when you do this, that your vert, so let's draw some verts in here. You've got a vert at the edges, always, and then you've got a vert along the edge. Obviously, probably one is in the middle of your face. Now, verts have normals. Normals are pretty much little arrows that point away from your vert that show in which direction the face is pointing. And this helps to say in which direction the light should shine on it. So these have verts that go outward. That means if I'm facing from here, you're going to see them as a light gray. And on the other side, the ones that would be on the back pretty much have verts pointing in that direction. So they would be black if I'm looking at them from the front. Now, usually these verts at the corners would also have them pointing in this direction. What happens when you solidify and you fill the rim is that this vert no longer faces this direction because it's kind of between this face and this face. So between facing this way and facing downwards, it gets a new arrow that faces like diagonally downwards. And what that does is that pretty much leads to this whole area. Oh God, this is not what I wanted to do. This whole area here getting this horrible black shading at the bottom because these verts reflect on the faces they are attached to. So this face gets kind of gray and this face gets kind of gray instead of this one being white and this one being black, put it that way. So what we do when we edge split is we literally separate this one black vert into two. So we tell them to literally duplicate that vert. And that means we have one vert here and one vert here, so to say. And that then means that we can have two arrows, one arrow that goes forward like it should and one arrow that goes downwards like it should. And that's why you then don't have the weird shading anymore. So in Blender, it looks like this. I'm just gonna import a random object. Let's just say anything, okay. In Blender, it looks like this. You can see this is the gray and you've got this kind of murky gray inside, which means that those faces are actually invisible. So what we're going to do is we're going to solidify it like we would. Let's make it pretty thin. You can see you've got the rim that we filled here. So now I apply that. Now if I were to export this, Untitled, that'll do. And I would import it into Milkshape. Mm -hmm. Right, it looks fine. But now if I select it, don't mind, I was doing it, and I let it calculate its own normals, you'll see this is the gray shading that I was talking about. You can see it's got this gray rim. So what you usually have to do, and what I've been teaching up till now, the very annoying job of selecting every outside vert and duplicating it, which is insanely tedious if you've got a lot of pieces. So for the smart version, if we go back to our picture, you can see that this vert is attached to this edge and to this edge. So if I select an edge, it will select these verts. However, the smart thing is faces are independent. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to put this on sync, and I'm going to say select faces, which is this button here. 
Now, if I turn sync off and also put this to faces, which is this one here, you can see they get these dots, then I can, I can leave. Is that right? Yeah, I make tutorials, so I have my video drin. I can select all of these with L, and you can see I'm only selecting one layer. And if I move these with G, I would select all at once. Don't select single pieces and move them, you'll see why later. So select all your pieces that you've solidified, you press G, and move them somewhere else. And you can see this is one layer and this is the other one. So if I go back to sync, you'll see if I use B to select, this is the inside, and these are the outside. And you can see when I'm selecting the inside or the outside layers, it's not selecting the other layer. Now, if I went to select verts, you can see that as soon as I select these verts, it also selects these down there because, as I said, we haven't edge split it, so it's still the same vert. So we're going to go back to face select, and what we're going to do is we're going to select the one group. I'm just going to press P and parent by selection. So now it's made a new group out of those verts. And to make a new group, what it has to do is it has to make sure that that group is independent, which means it automatically edge splits for you. So now I've got two groups. Now if I select one, then shift select the other, and I join them again, and I go to edit mode, and I go back to selecting edges, and I now select this edge, you'll see it's no longer selecting this one down here. So it's automatically edge split for me. Now, obviously, I want the front and the back to have the same texture. So I don't want this to take up double the space, so I'm just going to select the one layer again. And I'm going to press this cool button here, which is magnet. And you're going to set this to vertex. And then you're just going to press G, and you're going to move down. And if it does it, voila, it automatically snaps so that they're perfectly overlaying it. And done. You know my roommate who was talking in the background. But this is pretty much the easy way to edge split. Without having to highlight anything, you just parent the group and merge them again, and then use the magnet tool to overlay them again. Obviously, in between, you can delete parts if you don't want the whole of the inside to be solid. But yeah, welcome to Edge Splitting for Lazy.